This project we want to, you know, prepare that if we would ever have a, uh, you know, either biological or infectious, uh, you know, type agent that we could prepare the staff that they could intubate and then have a physician or anybody actually in a remote location that then for, uh, you know, patient safety they could confirm that the tube was properly placed without having to expose numerous people to said agents. We used anesthesiologists over in uh, Germany, which the nice thing is, is he was, you know, there doing his regular clinical duties and, you know, could easily sit down at a computer screen, pop on for, you know, a matter of maybe two to three minutes and confirm an endotracheal tube placed in Omaha, Nebraska. Awesome. Good. Good job, two for two. I think it has a tremendous real world value. Um, you know, one, this technology was all brought in with portable laptop computers, portable bronchoscopes. Uh, you know, the future would be that if we could even downsize things where things could maybe be done on an iPhone or an iPad, you know, the portability of this where although we did it here in a, you know, biocontainment unit, this could be done in some remote village uh, anywhere in the world. It's scary to think about those scenarios, but things such as infectious influenza, you know, the, the SARS, uh, those kind of things, or, you know, um, uh, chemical agents that, uh, you know, God forbid if there would be a uh, dirty bomb or, you know, some kind of chemical weapon that would be released, um, you know, you could uh, quarantine those patients and uh, not expose them to the entire healthcare system. They did very well. I was very impressed with a, uh, you know, uh, nurse that uh, hadn't had a lot of experience intubating and uh, not only the pressure of, uh, you know, doing that, uh, but having uh, minimal instruction and, uh, you know, confirmed by an anesthesiologist who does this day in and day out as their career.